students of the St. Andrews Anglican Primary School, the St. Andrews Methodist, Telescope Primary and Sacred Heart RC were part of an exercise geared towards enhanced learning of mangroves and their value to the environment in which they live. The students began their field day at the Grenville Bay Community Nursery, which grows mangrove, vetiva grass, and other trees that are used in their coastal rehabilitation efforts within four areas in the parish, Big Bay Telescope, Small Bay Telescope, Simoon, and Conference. The training was organized by the Climate Smart and Rural Enterprise Development Program in collaboration with the Ministry of Agriculture and Lands, Fisheries and Cooperatives. SIP Extension Assistant Hortense Philip facilitated part of the training. We play a very important role in carbon synchronization, reduction of carbon in the atmosphere that contributes to global warming. Um, mangroves also play a very important role in buffering, you know, protection of the um, soil erosion and so forth. And it also plays a very important role as uh, providing a habitat for, nat providing that nat um, natural habitat for the, you know, the um, organisms or the living organisms that live in its, in its environment. So it is very important for, you know, to instill that experience in our children, especially the foragers, so they can go out there and be an advocate for um, mangrove conservation. Kendon James is the technical specialist at the Windward Island Research and Education Foundation. The children are our future and having them know what, what is happening, having them know about the environment at a very early age helps us as the practitioners uh, get the message across a bit much clearer and we can ensure sustainability and continuity in uh, our approach and our efforts in terms of saving the environment. So having the kids involved at a very early age in the project and getting them to see, not just you talking about it, but getting them to see the mangrove, for instance, grow from a very small baby propagule to a massive tree that supports ecosystems, that supports uh, the birds, the, the bees, the fishes, as well as also support our, uh, our food, because a large bit of our food and our fisheries come starts from the mangrove habitat. The youngsters experienced the work that goes on with managing the Grenville Bay Community Nursery and also visited the Small Bay area in Telescope to understand the types of mangroves and their impact on the community. Here's a feedback from some of the students and teachers. We're studying about the mangrove plants, how the mangrove plants protect, protect the area close, who live close to, to Big Bay, Small Bay. So we're telling you right now not to cut down, cut down the mangroves. And about different kinds of, um, different colors of mangroves. Protect the, like you protect the show. Like if you have, um, if you protect your voice from flooding from the um, beach. This experience was a very learning experience for us as teachers and the students. Learning about the mangrove and how important it is to the environment, especially the sea coast. Because as a child, we were able to come by the sea, play cricket, football, climb coconut trees, but today we do not have much of this anymore. So it is important that we try to conserve the mangroves that are being planted so that later on our grand and great grand would have the opportunity to do some of the activities that we used to do long ago. Christina John, GBN News.